And lastly here, you will be able to see the automation tab, which is you can easily set up a keyword-based chatbot and auto reply for your number for your WhatsApp number. So as you remember just now what we did here is that whenever a customer come in, let's say they say hi, they will receive an auto message of um, let's say one, two, three, four as a menu and a logo. And also if they select an option, let's say they put number three they will receive a document as well. So what we did here in our backend for setup, first of all, uh, you can add a new keyword. So what I did here for the keyword is that I put hi, hello. Of course, you can customize in your language. Um, we have like Cantonese here, Chinese here, and also you can put, I don't know, Arabic, Hindi, um, Spanish, any other language that you would like to. So you just need to add keyword right here. And then, for the next step, once you set up the keyword, you need to see after they type the keyword, what is the reply action. So you can choose different things here. For example, a text message that you can customize. So you can put like, um, again, any other language. You can put emoji as well. You can put um, anything that is customized to your business. And then you can put document which you can easily just upload a document here, upload your document and then select it. And also image to send out. So just now um, for this one, I put the text message and an image, which I have the text message and the image as an auto reply. And the good thing is a lot of people ask about sticker. So you can easily choose the sticker to add here to send out as well, uh, to send your client your customized sticker. And as you can see here with the flow, you can add a flow here. So whenever your client input a keyword, they can go in a flow, which you can build it with our new flow builder function. Other than that, you can choose um, more thing here, contact attribute. So you can, um, if they put, let's say unsubscribe, they can automatically unsubscribe from the platform without any um, menu change. And as you can see just now, in the template, they do have different button. So you can choose a template with button. So let me easily show you here. Let's say the Wati AI, uh, AI board here. If you say hi, as we choose the template, you can have the button based chat board here. So this is what you can set up directly in the platform as well once you have the approved template. Apart from that, you can have routing as well. So you can, with the keyword, let's say I want to talk to sales, you can send a notification to the sales team to take up the chat and also assign the chat to them or assign to a sales team, for example, instead of an individual operator. So this is all the automation that you can set up with the keyword tracker, which I think is like really straightforward here. You just need to set up a keyword and then choose the reply material or the action that you would like it to happen automatically. So other than that, you can trigger with action as well. First of all here with the action, you can set a working hour. And if it is out of office, out of this working hour, you can send a message which you customize an out of office message, or you have more action here. For example, um, if like some message, uh, someone sent a photo or like a file emoji to you, which no keyword is matched, then you can send a fallback welcome message to at least send them a welcome message to, to greet them, to, to let them to have any option to choose the next step. And also for working hour, you can, uh, if uh, the, the client wait for a certain time without any reply of the agents or there's no keyword match, you can also send them a message like, um, let's say our line is busy, um, we'll have a human agent con contact you as soon as possible. This kind of like, you know, uh, reply message. And also when it's like, you know, almost closing within 20, uh, after 24 hours. So before that, you can send a message um, uh, to inform the client that the chat will be closing soon uh, to see if they have further questions. And lastly, you can set up a four-band message as well and also um, do not assign to board uh, uh, if the chat expired. So these are all different settings that you can put here 
and with the reply material, you can uh, write all your customized message or input all the action here, upload your um, resources in the platform in the future to send it automatically to client. And lastly, in the routing function, as I mentioned, you can route it to a specific operator or team. So this is um, basically the easy setup of automation without any coding needed. I hope you all enjoy and you will be able to um, simplify your workflow and uh, relieve the customer support burden from real human agents.